everybody, it is Errol from Home Sweet Apartment and today I'm going to show you four meals from one rotisserie chicken. Okay, so rotisserie chickens are super awesome. At my local store, you know, my local Hannaford's, you can buy them fresh, like hot, for $4.99 for a um, conventional chicken. They also have like a natural and organic version. Um, and then the day, so, and then at night, they put them in kind of like a cooling area. And then for a cold chicken, it's $3.99. And if you buy it the next morning, it's 80 cents off of the $3.99. So that is a pretty darn good deal. It's like around three bucks for an entire little chicken that's already been cooked. So I thought I would share with you guys how we managed to scrimp out four meals from one rotisserie chicken. First meal just off the bat, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because it's very easy. Um, the first meal with the rotisserie chicken is to eat the rotisserie chicken. So <laughs> just plain. So we cut off um, a little bit of the white meat and both legs. And so for the first meal, we just eat, we each have a drumstick and then I make sides with it. I'll usually make like pasta or sweet potatoes. Um, la so last night when I made this for us, cause I'll, this is like an ongoing thing. So uh, last night I made this for us. We bought the rotisserie chicken for like three bucks and then we each had a leg and I made sweet potatoes and I had corn on the cob. So that was an awesome first meal. And then the second meal that I make with it, I cut up the white meat part and then I usually make myself a wrap. And I usually eat that um, like as lunch or for me like my 3 a.m. lunch at work. So what I actually do is I will um, cut up the white meat and then I'll put it in like a chicken Caesar salad wrap for myself. And I'll leave one for my husband too so we each get a lunch out of it. So that's meal number two. Now we're going to move on to meals number three and four. So what that entails is you need a slow cooker. Now you could I guess do it on your stove but a slow cooker just makes life so much easier. So what I do is when I come home from a night shift, so this was, I made the, we ate rotisserie chicken last night. I had the wrap sandwich thing for my shift last night. And then when I got home at 7 a.m. this morning from my night shift, I put the whole rotisserie chicken in the slow cooker. And then I put about two cups of just regular old tap water and nothing else in the slow cooker. Put it on low for about six hours. And then when I wake up, I give it a stir and just put it on keep warm until I need it. And then what I do at night is I use the, it makes homemade chicken broth. So I use the homemade chicken broth. I store it in like a mason jar or put it in the freezer. And then what I do with the actual chicken is I take the, I, I like find all the good pieces of chicken that are left. Um, and then I use it for two more meals. The first meal I make is a chicken alfredo, which is like pasta. I usually like angel hair pasta with an alfredo sauce and chicken. Sometimes I'll do some bacon and make it like a carbonara type thing. So that's the, um, this, the third meal that we use for it. And then the fourth meal is actually something we love called cheater pot pie. It's exactly like chicken pot pie, except instead of making a homemade crust, you use biscuits. Sorry guys, a moth came out of nowhere and like, like flew at my face. I could like see it in the corner and I'm like, that's gonna come flying at me. Not that I'm terrified of moths, but it like literally flew right at my face. <laughs> Anyways, I'll have to insert a blooper at the end of this video because that was pretty crazy. <sighs> what was I on? Oh yeah, the fourth meal is cheater pot pie. What it is is we use biscuit dough instead of um, regular like making a pie crust from scratch. So what that is, is it's literally, I take the chicken from the leftover rotisserie chicken and I use it once for the meal that we're gonna have tonight, which is the pasta meal. And then tomorrow night we use it in cheater pot pie. And I just use like a can of cut up veggies and I use the homemade chicken broth and I use the chicken. Um, and then I kind of make it, I use, you know, flour and, um, flour and butter and kind of make it thick, um, you know, make a roux, make it thickened, and then I put it in a dish, and then you just cover it basically with biscuits, and it's absolutely delicious. Cheater pot pie. So those are four meals that you get out of one rotisserie chicken. That's less than a dollar a meal for your meat part of your dinner. That's awesome. Obviously, the dinners cost more than just the meat part, but that's pretty good. Um, so anyway, so yes, yeah, so your first meal, remember, is just eating the drumsticks. The second meal is using the white meat for a wrap 
or two or three, <laughs> how many you can make out of it. And then the fourth meal is the pasta meal that we use, but feel free to use it for whatever, use a slow cooker. And then the um, fourth meal is the cheater pot pie. And the awesome part out of all of this is you get a homemade, delicious, super healthy chicken broth that you can use in other recipes. Like I use it in my chili recipe, I use it in the cheater pot pie recipe, I also use it to make like tater tot casserole and things like that. Um, I make my own cream of uh, chicken soup with it. So endless possibilities there. So go out and get yourself a rotisserie chicken. Um, obviously when you can buy the organic or the natural kind, it's just going to be better for you. But um, that's it for now guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye. Here is the rotisserie chicken that I stirred and it's simmering in there. And that's cooking away. And there's my chicken broth. Yummy chicken broth. Sorry, there's like a moth in the corner that I can't, that's like gonna attack me. Eh.